welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is video number two, and we are going to be further troubleshooting DC electronics, specifically this one right here, which is my radar detector from my car. In video number one, I opened it up and I diagnosed down here to my incoming DC. There is a burn spot right there. You can see it. And I'm basically blowing fuses right here in my DC adapter. This is my 12 volt DC adapter for my car. And it does have a fuse. That fuse is burning and that's because there's a short. In this video, we're gonna take it one step further. How do we test for that short? And what do we do when we find it? I have a theory that this guy right here, this burn component and maybe this burn component right here, which should be power filters because right here is your negative incoming power and this one right here is your positive incoming power and this one over to the side is probably just for support so I have a short as you can find out my meter is currently on continuity and you can see I'm going to go ahead and place my meter right here is the 12 volt positive lead which is connected to here and this is my negative and I am reading about one to five ohms so this guy right here is a little charcoaly and this guy here is a little charcoaly it won't power up because there's a short so my theory is that we just go ahead and remove those components this guy right here and this guy right here I believe that this component right here is probably a diode and if it's a shorted diode then we should be able to remove it because I'm not going to need it. But we'll find out. We will find out. Maybe it's going to be a total loss. Hopefully not. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, here we go. So what I was going to demonstrate is how to test out a device without the filtering components, which are the diode and the resistor and filtering caps. But uh, I think I found the real problem behind this whole entire device. So on the incoming power, I replaced my component right here, which was probably a little diode and I, Put in just a shunt or just a basically a piece of wire so i got my ground back so that's between this point and my ground plane right there now i wanted to get rid of this and put a junction between this blob right here and this blob right here this is my electrolytic capacitor which you can see right here see that guy and this guy here normally smoothens out the positive leg of the incoming power. That's what it is, it's for smoothing. And you can see I've got some others right here. But anyway, this guy, I put a junction between this post and this post, and now I had a short between positive and negative all over again. So I took it back off and I checked and between this post and this post, on my electrolytic capacitor, it is a dead short. So what does that mean? Well, since I have a dead short on this guy, that means I would have to change him out. I will have to find a donor board with this component. Maybe I'll show you guys after it's all done. But this guy, baking in the heat of my car, it actually shorted out internally. And that is the one that caused all these components between the negative and the positive junction right here caused all these to flare up and let the smoke out. It was all due to a faulty electrolytic capacitor, which you can see got really hot. You can tell right here on this guy, which I would automatically assume that that's a diode right there. Hard to say at this point, but um, it's obviously had a little bit of heat, but there you go that's what it was so i have a bad electrolytic it fried the rest of the components and it was all due to heat on this board now what are some of the ways that we could have solved this 
Well, one of the ways that we can solve this is instead of using these garbage electrolytic capacitors, like this guy right here, they have solid capacitors which can take their place. And those are like military grade capacitors. Those are meant for high heat. Electrolytics do not like high heat. And as you can imagine, this guy baking on the dashboard of my car gets really, really hot. And it could be, it's in a black case. I mean, it could easily be 140, 150 degrees in here. And then I boot it up. And as soon as I turn on power to this input port right here, it shorted out and uh, created the kaboom. So anyway, guys, um, I have some more work to do on this guy. I wasn't thinking so. I thought I was gonna be able to remove some components and start right in, but it was not a power surge or anything like that that caused this problem. It was a bad electrolytic and bad design. All these devices right here are designed to be disposable. And unfortunately, if they would have just spent a few more cents, bought the correct capacitor, would have solved this problem. So maybe I will read the values on that cap and get a solid cap and solve this problem going forward. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. I know it's a little bit long, but sometimes getting to the root of the problem is a little bit long. And uh, I'll see if I can shorten it up in post. But anyway... Thanks again for watching and stay tuned. This weekend we're going to be doing some giveaways. I'm looking forward to it. See you guys.